is Jay, Mr. Real Estate Morrison, back with Chris Urso, aka Urs. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be talking to you guys about uh, how to transition from the residential real estate market to multi-unit apartments and apartment buildings. Yeah. And we're going to be talking a lot about the mindset shift that you kind of got to make and um, conquering fear, um, also getting educated a little bit, and not abandoning your residential real estate portfolio. You don't necessarily have to, have to abandon what you've created or want to create in the residential real estate world, but there are some shifts you have to make if you want to get into a larger game. So Chris, you want to just tell them a little bit about your shift and the mindset shift that you, that you and Lisa had to make to go from you know, your 40 units in the residential world to then starting to decide that you guys want to scale up. Yeah, I think everything starts with the mind at the end of the day. You know, the, the two questions that we were asked from, from our coach when we made the transition uh, that kind of triggered the transition for us to start playing a bigger game ultimately is why you want to do this, why you want to invest in real estate, period. Right. Like a deeper why, not just I want financial freedom. Correct. I think that's the easy answer. But when you take the time to sit down and figure out really why you want to do this, why you're watching this video, why you want to be you know, a real estate mogul out right. there, you know, that's what's going to drive you day in and day out to work harder, you know, make those extra calls, do more deals, et cetera. And then ultimately understanding what your goals truly are. And for us, the biggest shift was when I wrote down and said, I want to create a $100 million real estate investment business. Wow. And I was looking at, you know, our coach said, okay, write down on paper, you know, right now your average house is $50,000 that you're buying. And right. we're buying a lot of them. Our, our motto is just work hard. Work hard and you'll get the results. <laughs> so we just kept working harder. Nothing buying, beats hard work. Yeah, Nothing. buying more houses, buying more houses. And then he said to me, he goes, okay, you got $50,000 average home price times 2000 And he goes, that's your $100 million real estate investment business. Like two thousand of yeah, those to I get said, your hundred million. Man, that's why my heart started racing, <laughs> and I was like, "Holy crap!" You know, this is a lot of houses. I I'm, I've been working hard to do sixty houses in the last two years. Right. And he goes, and that's when he said, "He goes, Chris, you got to play a bigger game." He's like, "I'm not telling you to just abandon what you're doing, but get it really systematized, get it really laser focused, and then now let's add." A, a bigger piece of real estate to what you're currently doing. And then ultimately he goes, I know what's going to happen. You're going to get pulled out of your residential business right. and play the bigger game, you know, and as you do more apartment deals. But Lisa and I, at that point, we went out to all of our resources that we had and said, you need to find us an apartment deal. And right. we just started learning everything we could. We were scared. I never did it before, but we just learned and learned and learned. Went to seminars, watched videos, read books. You know, we went to every RIA meeting out right. there in New York. You guys have, well, so, so, so two things I want to pull out of that. One was systematize, you said, yeah. right? Systemization is one of the biggest things to when you want to scale up any business, yep. right? I don't care, you know, if you got one McDonald's and yeah. you, you want 10, the way McDonald's became McDonald's because they created a system and they Around sold everything. that system, yep. right? So systemizing things will help you bring any business to the next level, which is one thing you guys had to do. And then you mentioned that you guys had a coach, yep. that you guys went to seminars, you went to training, you read books. You guys invested into your education because Absolutely. it helped cut your learning curve. We continue to. I still have coaches. Right. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, that's, that's never ending because your business is always going to hit levels that you know, you're going to exceed and then you want to find people that have done it at a higher level. Um, but making that transition, you know, we continued to do fix and flips for probably about a year and a half while we were building the apartment side. Right. You know, and we started with a 40 unit, a 23 unit, a 37 unit until eventually we hit our first 100 unit, found the right partners, you know, surrounded ourselves with very smart people. Our business partner and our investment business is, is amazing. You know, and then we, we hit that plateau and we found her, and now it's been you know, lights out where eventually we transitioned out of our residential business. Right. But we also help a lot of clients that have a consistent fix and flip business, and I'm like, dude, keep that business running, because that keeps your lights on today right. as you build the multifamily business out. But, realize that there needs to be an end game and that all starts with why you're doing this and what your goals are and everything you do day in and day out should be attached to your goals right exactly and and when you have your vision board as you see that we have yeah. and you're shooting for the stars or whatever your, it is that your vision is that will again continue to drive you yeah. uh another thing that you just pointed out is the consistency and the persistence yeah. right persistence. so although he's gotten to man is 70 million in real estate really really fast or 1,300 units, it still nevertheless wasn't overnight. No. 
And if he didn't put the consistent work in it, like, you know, his partner, Janice, right? Yep, Janet. Janet, yep. yep. He, he wouldn't have found Janet and had that collaboration come to play if they weren't hitting the pavement and doing all the things that they were doing. So if you are, as I say, patient and persistent, if you're patient, you're persistent, and you have your goals in mind, you can hit whatever goals you want to hit, and he'll be, he'll have his $100 million company one day, I'm going to help. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get there, right? So we're, we're going to have a $200 million company uh, collectively, and, and we want you guys to be a part of everything that we're building, which is why we're sharing this information. Like we're, we're putting this out here because there are coaches and mentors who will put the same information out there for us as we invested in ourselves, and now we want to give you guys that same opportunity. So, you know, stay tuned for our next big announcement. We really want to give you guys an opportunity to be uh, more engaged with us. Yep. And if you're really serious about this, if, you know, owning an apartment building, if owning an anchor property, if really ha having a substantial legacy for your family is important to you, we're willing to give you all the information, all the training that you possibly can ask for. So for those of you who are serious, continue to watch this. Make sure you open the next email. It's going to be very, very all right? Excellent. Good job. All right. Thank All right. You. See you guys soon. Peace.